Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eugene, I'm an iOS developer, and in this video we're going to talk about how to add a text field in your UI table view cell. So um, there was a question on my channel uh, under this video, when, uh, the video that I posted how to add like um, swipe action uh, to, um, uh, uh, to UI table view cell, so, and there is an edit action. So, but a person asked how to add a text field in UI table, table view cell so we are able to edit that text field. So, if I understood the question correctly, I'm going to show you how to place UI table view cell, uh, I'm sorry, UI text field into UI table view cell. So it's fairly easy to do. Let's get started. So let me just uh, make more space so you can see what I'm typing. Increase my font. So uh, in order to do that, uh, first of all, like we're going to uh, come out uh, the um, we're going to get rid of like the action swipe action code altogether um, because we don't need it anymore and uh, we also don't need a, like edit so we can come in about so all we need to do all we care about is a UI table view cell how many cells we like how many cells we're returning so uh, Yeah. To create a custom uh, uh, UI table view cell, you need to uh, create a, a class. So let's do Coco touch class UI table view cell text field uh, table view cell and. Uh, so we don't really need uh, like this uh, this piece of code uh, because we are not going to use any of that. So, but first of all, like we're going to create our custom table view uh, table view cell in code. We're not going to use storyboards. So let's create our initializer in it. And uh, let's say um, super init uh, style uh, reusable identifier. So, and we need to create require init, and uh, we're not store we're not using storyboard uh, for this project at all. So now we need to create our custom uh, text field. So the best way to create a custom component in UIKit is to create a class and subclass the component that you would like to modify. So for this tutorial, I'm going to create a subclass of uh, text field table view cell and that's going to be subclass of UI text field class uh, text field uh, and a subclass UI um, UI text field. So so and in our UI text field, there are three property, three methods that we go into override uh, text rect. So the it's a rect of the text itself and editing rect it's where like editing starts and um, so we we're gonna we're gonna add some padding to it so it's not like screen to screen or like edge to edge or like really close to leading edge um, or whatever so we have a little bit more room so in our text is a little bit more readable and uh, we also going to uh, we return a in interesting uh, con content size. So the 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 size of our content of our text. So three 
three uh, two methods that we need to overwrite and one property that we're going to overwrite as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Text rect, and we're going to return uh, bounds in set by, and we're gonna say here twenty four and zero and. Uh, and it's in rect, and we're going to return exactly the same thing. And uh, uh, in in intrinsic content size uh, is going to be our computed property return the init. And it's going to be width zero and height uh, forty-four. So this is our text field. Uh, now we're going to create an instance of our text field. Uh, text field. Uh, text field. Uh, um, UI. UI text field. So we're going to create this closure where we're going to configure our text field. Uh, let text field equals text field. Uh, text, uh, text field uh, tamic equals false. So we we're going to constrain it ourselves. Uh, Text field uh, placeholder equals edit me, and uh, we're going to return return our text field. Okay, and uh, and sub view uh, text uh, Text field uh, and uh, our text field, uh, our text field uh, frame equals bounds. So it's going to fill our entire uh, entire cell view. So uh, this is one part. So let's build it and see if we have any errors. We don't have any errors. It is good. So uh, let's uh, let's get back to our view controller. So because like for this project, as much as, much as I hate storyboards, I'm using storyboards, and uh, this cell is not a subclass of our custom um, of our custom um, UI table view cell, and we can't really sub like, we can't really assign our class to this cell because. You know what? We're not using storyboards. So, uh, what we're going to do instead, we're going to register our cell uh, table uh, table view re register um, text field cell self, and an identifier is going to be uh, um, text. So it doesn't really matter what identifier you use here. And now we have to configure our cell. Uh, and uh, identifier text, and we have to specify as that we are returning it as a text field. Uh, table view cell so that the custom table view that, that we just uh, created and uh, uh, because we're not really uh, yeah like we can just go ahead and run our project and see where we at so and now we see our uh, uh, test Test, test, and so like now we we see like a little bit 
a, like a weird effect here uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to create a method uh, uh, did select row at and I'm going to say table view deselect row at index path and animator as uh, true so uh, and it's gonna be uh, and it's gonna be a little bit better so we don't we're not gonna have that like stack visual effect so uh, test 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 and this is how you add your um, text field in your uh, collection view cell so like really easy uh, really simple what you can do you can uh, you can create headers uh, on top of your uh, table view cells and you can name your headers like you provide different text for your header um, so um, you can specify which type of text fields uh, you're going to use uh, this technique is uh, used um, a lot and uh, um, yeah um, this is how you add text field in your UI table view. I hope it was useful. I hope I answer your question. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know uh, if I got your question correctly. But anyway, like, let me know. Well, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want me to cover. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.